Inner Awakening Breeze Stunning Health Recoveries 100% Cure for Depression Insomnia Asthma Fatigue Chronic Pain Insecurity Panic Attacks and other major disorders awaken the Kundalini Shakti the dormant energy within what would you do if you had 1300 percent more energy disease free mind and body is your first wealth claim it at inner awakening inner awakening a 21 day meditation retreat with rare living incarnation Paramahamsa Nityananda Nityananda Dhyana Pita Nityananda Nagar Biridhi Bengaluru Karnataka Contact 0802-727-9999 Email ia at nityananda.org Nityanandeshwara Samarambam Nityanandeshwari Madhyamam Asmadacharya Pariyantam Vande Guru Paramparam Is Samai Hamare Sat Upasthit Sabhi Darshako Aur Bhakto Ka Mein Prem Aiva Masir Vat Sahit Swahat Karta Hoon I Welcome all the viewers, visitors, devotees, disciples, samajis, satsangis, everyone sitting with us all over the world through Nityananda TV, Sadhana TV, Lotus News Channel, two-way video conferencing. In 34 places in 28 countries around the world, I welcome all of you with my love and respects cities sitting with us in two way video conferencing having Nayana Diksha, Singapore, Indrani, New Jersey, Surrey, British Columbia, New York, East London, Houston, San Diego, Devon, UK, Los Angeles, Downtown, Austin, Port Washington, New York, Bangalore, Malleshwaram, Mumbai, Andheri, Hyderabad, Gupta Kashi, Bangalore, North, Bangalore, Marathahalli, New Zealand, Adi Arunachalam, Seattle, Tiruvanmiyur, Dhyanapetam, Oklahoma, Toronto, Kuala Lumpur, Hyderabad, Nityananda Nagaram, Hyderabad, Guadalupe, Toronto, Los Angeles, Arunachalam, Ohio, San Jose, Madurai, Charlotte, Stratford, Connecticut, Oman, Sivagangai, Paris, Kaligat, Varanasi, Rasiburam, Dhyanapitam, Kathmandu, Nepal, Colorado Springs, USA, Calgary, Amaranath, my love and blessings occasion today Ganesh Chaturthi and just now we saw the power of Ganesha audio was not working I said start let's ask Ganesha to remove the Vignani removed it is working in Sadhana TV and <laughs> And so Indri Vinayaka Chadurti Nanal.
எல்லா விக்னங்களையும் தீர்த்து குறைகளையும் தீர்த்து அபூரணங்களையும் நீக்கி பூரணத்துவத்தின் வடிவமாக இருந்து நம்மையெல்லாம் வாழ்க்கையில் மேல்நிலை நோக்கி அழைத்துச் செல்லும் விநாயகருக்கான தினம் இந்த நன்னாளில் விநாயகரின் பேரருள் உங்கள் எல்லோர் மீதும் பொழிந்து நம் எல்லோருக்கும் விநாயகனின் பேரருள் மலர்ந்து பேரருள் பொழிந்து எல்லா நன்மைகளையும் கிடைக்க விநாயகனை வேண்டி பிரார்த்தித்து ஆசீர்வதிக்கின்றேன் கணேஷ் சதுர்த்தி So, all over the world, Dhyana Pitam is celebrating Ganesh Chaturthi. Hyderabad is offering 108 Naivedhyams to Ganesha. In the temple, they put Hydra 6 feet Ganesha. And Malaysia is offering 108 Naivedhyams to Ganesha. Ohio has celebrated Ganesh Chaturthi. Tirvanmiyur Dhyana Pitam is offering 108 Naivedhyams to Ganesha. All the devotees have gathered. San Diego Sangha will be gathering tomorrow to celebrate Ganesh Chaturthi. They are offering, they are offering, oh sorry, I think they have already gathered. They are offering 54 Nivedhyams. Great. San Diego is offering. San Diego has gathered today to celebrate the Ganesh Chaturthi. They are offering 54 Nivedhyams. And San Diego also has Ganesh Puja, Ashtotram and Inauguration of Rasi Bharam Dhyana Pitam. Great. And of course, San Jose is offering, San Jose is offering lot of Nivedhyams. Los Angeles is offering Nivedhyams to Ganesha. I do not know the number. And Seattle is doing Ratayatra for Ganesha. Toronto is offering Nevedhyams to Ganesha. Ohio is doing Abhishegam and celebrating Ganesha's Chaturthi. Seattle is offering 21 Nevedhyam. Everywhere Ganesh Chaturthi is celebrated. And the good news is today Ganesha landing and blessing all of us. So no Somavara Vrata. <laughs> you can eat Ganesha Prasadam. Because Ganesha is the guy, he will be offended if we don't eat his Prasadam. If we don't share with him. So we should not offend him. And he is such a joyful God. See Ganesha is embodiment of joy and no rule, nothing, no Agama. You don't need to bother about anything. Even to build his temple, he is the only God, no Agama. Please understand, each God have their own Agama. Vaikanasa, Pancharatra, Uttragamiga. Each God have their own Agamas. Gane of course, there are Agamas talking about Ganesha Puja and description. But Ganesha is beyond any Agama. And you don't need to bother about any Agama. Just remember him, he will be there. Whether you ask him to land on a small turmeric paste or on a cow dung. Yes, please understand, even in cow dung they will make Ganesha in villages. Or just you ask him, request him, he is there. Ganesha is such a joyful God, the embodiment of joy. He is always there. Like completion. Understand? Completion. The moment you declare completion, you are complete. There is no need for any other prerequisite or postrequisite. Just you have to forgive you. <laughs> Just you have to declare completion. That's all. And completion is there. 
same way Ganesha is moment you ask him he is there he is such a joyful God and so let us celebrate having his prasadam if you don't share with his prasadam if you don't have his prasadam you may be offended so <laughs> one day Ganesh Chaturthi overrides Somavara Somavara Vrata <laughs> Rasi Bharam also they are offering 21 Naivedyams to Ganesha Singapore they are offering Naivedyams to Ganesha and celebrating Singapore is offering 21 Naivedyams all over the world we are celebrating Ganesh Chaturthi and Los Angeles is offering 29 Naivedyams with 108 Ganesha's names chanting. Toronto is offering Nivedyam to Ganesha and worshipping Ganesha with a gold kavacham. Swarana Angi offering the golden kavacham to Ganesha. They are celebrating Ganesh Chaturthi. I can say in Hinduism the largest celebrated festival is Ganesh Chaturthi. Without doubt I can say. In Hinduism, because Ganesha is the only God worshipped by Shaivites, Vaishnavites, Shaktaites and his own branch, Gaumara, sorry, Ganabatya. Even the Gaumaras, the Subramanya's disciples, followers, even they worship Ganapati. See, the Hinduism has major seven branches. People who worship Ganapati, followers of Ganapati, and people who worship Shiva, people who worship Vishnu, people who worship Subramanya Kumara, people who worship Devi, people who worship Surya, Grahas, Navagrahas, and people who worship Gurus, they are masters. There is only one God who is worshipped by all the seven sampradayas, that is Ganesha. Because Shaivites don't even look at the Vishnu temple. By mistake, they may look. Vaishnavites, even by mistake, they don't, do look, they don't look at Shiva temple. If they look at Shiva temple, they will do completion. <laughs> they will do some completion. <laughs> so understand, Ganesha, is the only God worshipped by all the seven sampradayas. Even in Vishnu temples, he has a place with the name Tumbikka Yalvar. So Ganesha is worshipped by all the seven major sampradayas of Hinduism. That is why I say Ganesha, Ganesh Chaturthi is the most celebrated festival in Hinduism. I can say in the whole world largest celebrated festival because other than Hinduism, no other religion celebrates some festival in such large scale. Because other religions, they may be by birth, they may have a lot of people in their religion. But by living, many of the, uh, those religions don't have that huge number living their religion. Hinduism has large number of I can say the born Hindus, more than 98% live as Hindus. Celebrate. So, this Ganesh Chaturthi, in a way I can say, world's largest festival. Not just world's largest Hindu festival, world's largest festival. He can be worshipped with just less than ten dollar, sorry, less than one dollar. Small mud deity is enough or you can make a mud deity on your own. And all economic strand, economic strand people worship him. All you need is just leaf, just a flower or doing namaskar. And any food he will be happy, he will eat. Embodiment of joy. 
I don't want to give any other philosophical explanation about Ganesha other than embodiment of joy because Ganesha outlives all philosophies. He feels all philosophies are bored, boredom. You see, it is like a, a modern day a teenage kid who eats left and right happily, all the time sits with a Facebook and doesn't bother about any serious philosophy, but who has all powers is Ganesha. <laughs> and <laughs> he doesn't come under any rule and he doesn't come under any regulation, but he has all the powers and he is embodiment of Satchidananda. The all the auspiciousness and intelligence, energy and everything. But even this description of his embodiment of Satchidananda distances him from us. He is such a close being to our heart. There can't be any philosophical explanation about him. He is just part of us. And Today is just a pure celebration, celebration with the Ganesha's presence happening. Let us celebrate Ganesha's presence happening. In Bidhi, we will have a procession of Ganesha and Ganapati Homa, Pujas, everything will be held. So I request all of you to continuously be connected through Nityananda TV. Today we will have a beautiful large Ganapati Homa and Ganesh Puja and procession of Ganesha. <laughs> Sare British Columbia, I saw your Ganesha. Hyderabad has installed six feet Ganesha for this beautiful occasion. Ganesh ji, Purnatva ke Pratik hai, keval Goshna karane se, ve upasthit ho jate hai, ve itne anand mein Bhagwan hai, Ganesh Chaturthi Vishwabar mein sabse adik manaya jane wala पर्व है हिंद धर्म के सभी संप्रदायों के लोग गणेश जी की पूजा करते हैं धनवान और निर्दान सभी लोग उनकी पूजा करते हैं वेदर शाइवाइट और वैष्णवाइट और शाक्ताइट और गौमारा और गुरु वर्शिपर्स दे ऑलवेज वर्शिप गणेशा फर्स्ट गणपति I can tell you really, I have become successful in my life because I started my life with Ganesha. My first spiritual effort was trying to feed Ganesha. Please understand. My first extraordinary experience beyond the materialistic world is also from Ganesha. That is why I think Ganesha has given success in my spiritual venture. He is the embodiment of completion of all the incompletions you carry in the form of impossible, vigna. Please understand, anything, any idea you carry, impossible is vigna. Nothing else is a vigna in the life other than the idea you carry as impossible. So Ganesha is embodiment of completing with all impossibilities. The incompletions of impossible is embodiment of love. 
please understand even though i don't want to describe him with some seriousness his power i can say he is established in completion and simplicity the problem is always the simplicity is taken as a incompletion and non seriousness but he is paradox established in the space of completion and established in non seriousness a joy overflowing joy and he is embodiment of all the completions of the incompletion impossible please understand i had read gupta kashi i have seen your ganesha also <laughs> now everyone is waving their ganeshas through the two way video conferencing great i have seen in my village people will make their own ganesha today an worship from the young age the first celebration i started celebrating in my life is ganesh chaturthi my mother is a witness the whole family is a witness the first celebration i started in my life is ganesh chaturthi i'll go and collect all the clay from the road the street and make ganesha and start worshiping from today i'll start making the deities and idols in clay till navaratri <laughs> and so ganesh chaturthi is lot of nostalgical memories for me actually through ganesh chaturthi i learnt hindu tradition we should celebrate ganesh chaturthi everywhere he is embodiment of love please understand you will never think ganesha as embodiment of love because you always have the idea of love from either krishna or devi you need to understand ganesha makes you complete with all the incompletions and the ideas of impossible ideas of impossible he makes you complete with all the impossibilities i tell you please understand you need to understand this truth about love let me describe there's one kind of love where a bird eats wherever she gets the food she eats and stores little in the mouth comes to the nest where she is staying and feeds the what do you call the kids of the baby the birds in english you have a different different word for everything that's a problem anyhow the birds ki- feed their kids you all understand that's all language is for me to make you understand the concept now you understood over the bird eats and stores the little food in the mouth and comes and feeds its babies this is one kind of love there's another kind of love where lion takes the cub to teach hunting understand there are two kinds of love where the bird eats and brings little food and she feeds her kid her kids baby birds this is one type of love there's another type of love where the lion 
takes the cub for hunting. Understand? Lion will protect that you are not hurt during the hunting, but lion won't keep quiet without taking you for hunting. It will not let you rest. It may protect that you don't get hurt, but it will not leave you without taking for hunting. You have to hunt and you have to take the responsibility. And of course, if you don't get anything in the hunting, lion may, f he will feed you, she will feed you, whatever sh she gets from that, she will feed you, but she will continue to train you for hunting. I can say the Ganesha's love is like a lion. It's like lion's love. See, a lion has to come down to make the cub feel he is equal. The cub is equal. Only then he can encourage the cub to come with him for hunting and to try for hunting. That coming down does not reduce the state of lion. Same way, Ganesha comes down to our level, raises us to his level. There is a big difference. The love of the Devi or Krishna, all that is more or less like a bird. The bird's love towards the baby birds. But the love of Ganesha is like love of lion. So understand, I tell you, this love only needs a lot of sacrifice. See, in the love of the bird, the baby bird will know mother loves. Baby bird also will reciprocate. In that love, nothing, you don't need much sacrifice. But in the love of the lion and the cub, cub will not even realize lion loves it. Cub will not even realize lion is loving the cub and so lion has to do a lot of sacrifice. He has to sacrifice, uh, please understand, the greatest sacrifice is the feeling satisfied the other person understands you love him or her. Even that lion has to sacrifice. Lion has to sacrifice even that. Lion does not even wait the cup to recognize the lion's sacrifice. It continues. It carries on. It knows only one thing. At some day, the cup will realize it's the lion which made me lion. It is lion which made me lion. So the greatest sacrifice is the people whom you love. Even they not recognizing that, they not knowing that you love them, but still you continue. You continue with your responsibilities. I can say this is the most powerful love. The love of a master. Lion will not allow you to rest. It will not leave you without going for hunting. Even if you say, no, no, I have a leg pain yesterday. Three kilometers I, ch I ran chasing the deer. Two kilometers I have to walk up and down. No, I have a leg pain, I have a knee pain, I have a tail pain. <laughs> no. Lion is not going to keep quiet. See, if you are not able to hunt, 
if you are not able to give get your food you are not going to go without food surely lion will feed you but lion won't keep quiet without taking the cub for hunting lion won't keep quiet without making the cub learn hunting please understand that is why a lion when the cub becomes lion it is demanding when a baby bird becomes bird it cannot be demanding even if it becomes bird full fledged bird it will not be demanding it will only be begging i tell you grow up with the love of lion not love of the bird <laughs> love of the dove maybe comforting soothing but it will make you only a bird we still struggles searches begs steals grow up with the love of the lion you will become lion i tell you if you have the choice choosing between the love of the bird and love of the lion always choose love of the lion because that will make you a lion whose love you choose in your life you become him whose love you enjoy most in your life you become him or her understand just like what you eat you became that love is the food for your bio memory so from whom you receive love be very cautious just like from whom you receive food same way be very cautious about from whom you receive love from whom you receive attention from whom you receive support from whom you receive soothing from whom you receive care don't receive care love attention healing soothing any good thing anything whether you think good or bad don't receive it from a person who will not make you lion receive love care attention even roaring scary roaring only from a lion which makes you lion even if if a lion roars at you get roared from a lion then getting a smile from a jackal get roared from a lion never get smiled by a jackal or from a fox if you get smile if you get a smile from a jackal or a fox it will only be smug not a smile so getting roared from a lion is much 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 better than getting a smile or a smug from fox or jackal love i think i have defined love from a new angle ganesha is embodiment of lion's love who makes you complete and without completion even shiva cannot win starting anything that is what ganesha proves for a war with tribhurasuras shiva starts without doing completion of course it is not shiva's responsibility 
Shiva is always established in, in the space of completion, but the people who organized, the other energies who are involved, they did not do the completion and start the war. So immediately Ganesha comes and breaks the chariot. Muppuram yeri saitha achivan urai radham achadu bodhi saitha aditira. That is a beautiful Tamil verse by Arunagiri Nata Swami. Even the Shiva who has burnt the Tripura, Muppura and Mahadeva, even his chariot was broken by Ganesha to teach a lesson to the Devatas. Then all the Devatas come and complete with Ganesha. Mahadeva himself completes with Ganesha. Immediately Ganesha says, come on, now let's start. He removes all the incompletions and Tripurasuras are immediately burnt. The purpose is achieved. So understand the necessary importance of completion. Ganesha is embodiment of that completion. Ganesha is embodiment of the completion with all the incompletions of impossible. Today, as you all may be aware, last 10 days, we are all continuously working on Completing with all the incompletions of impossible. And it has really done a good job. I can say in many of our ashramites, all that ideas of impossible came up, came up, came up. And last 10 days, lot of this impossible incompletions have come up. Now it is time. We complete with everything. Today, will celebration as the day of completion Ganapati day. <laughs> completion Ganesh Chaturthi. So all of you today join the Ganapati Homa. Today it's happening in Dhyanapitam. You can see in Nityananda TV. The completion Ganapati Homa is going to be happening. All of you tune into Nityananda TV to attend the completion Ganapati Homa, 3 p.m. Indian Standard Time. Today, 3 p.m. Indian Standard Time, we will be having Ganesha Ashtotram. After the Ashtotram, Ganesha Homa, Ganapati Homa will start. It is specially for completion. All over the world, all of you can join 3 p.m. Indian Standard Time. You can participate through Nityananda TV, which is freely available. All of you can log in Nityananda TV and watch the completion Ganapati Homa and complete with all the incompletions of impossible. And all the writers, uh, all the viewers also can write your incompletions and sit in front of NTV, attend the Ganapati Homa, visualize that you are part of it and then finally burn the papers in which you have written your incompletions and get rid of incompletions. But of course, be safe from the fire. Wherever you are, you have to follow your country laws. And I bless you all to be established in the space of completion. Whoever participates in the Homa today, we will go through a beautiful process of completion with all the incompletions of impossibility. Let us all be established in the space of completion by the grace of Maha Ganapati. And as I said, complete with all the incompletion lifestyle, 
with all the strong beliefs you carry, ideas you carry, whatever you do will be unsuccessful or anything is impossible for you, all, with all those ideas complete, complete with all those ideas, understand, come out of all those incompletions, I tell you, when you complete with all those ideas, When you do completion with all those ideas, you will radiate the energy of Ganesha, you will radiate the presence of Ganesha, you will radiate the experience of Ganesha. Chave, chahe ho, Shaiv Sampraday ho, ya Shakta Sampraday ho, ya Vaishnava Sampraday ho, chahe ho, Jobi Sampraday ho, सभी संप्रदाय सबसे पहले गणेश जी का ही पूजा करते हैं मेरे जीवन का पहला आध्यात्मिक अभ्यास गणेश जी से आरंभ हुआ इसीलिए गणेश जी ने मेरे जीव में आध्यात्मिक सफलता प्रदान की जो भी विघ्न या असंभव का विचार आप में है उन सभी के साथ पूर्णत्व लाना ही गणेश जी है गणेश जी प्रेम के प्रतीक है वे पूर्णत्व और बोलापन दोनों ही में स्थापित है मेरे जीवन में पहला उत्सव जो मैंने मनाया वो था गणेश चतुर्थी मैंने गणेश चतुर्थी द्वारा ही हिंदू धर्म का ज्ञान पाया आपका प्रेम के बारे में समझना आवश्यक है एक पंछी अपने छोटे पंछी को काना खिलाती है किंतु एक शेरनी अपने छोटे शेर शेर को श, शिकार करना सिखाती है इस प्रेम के साथ एक बड़ा त्याग है शेरनी को यह शेरनी को यह भी त्यागना पड़ता है कि उसका बच्चा उसके प्रेम को भी नहीं समझ पाएगा जब तक वो स्वयं शेर बन नहीं बन जाते जाता है मैं कहता हूं पंछी के प्रेम के साथ नहीं बल्कि शरणी के प्रेम के साथ परिपूर्ण बनिए किसका प्रेम आप अपने जीवन में सबसे अधिक चाहते हैं ये बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण है क्योंकि आप वही बन जाएंगे शरणी के गर्जन एक सियार की मुस्कन से कही अधिक अच्छी है सो एसेंस ऑफ टुडे सत्संग गणेशा इज एम्बॉडीमेंट ऑफ कंप्लीशन विथ ऑल द इनकम्प्लीस ऑफ इम्पॉसिबिलिटी टुडे गणेशा इज हैपनिंग Ganesha has happened. Let the Ganesha, who is the completion of all the incompletion of impossibilities, let him happen in all of us and complete all the impossible incompletions and establish us in the space of completion. Ajham Purnatva Ganesh Chaturthi Manayenge जो भी असफलता या असंभव के विचार आप दृढ़ रूप से पकड़े हुए हैं, उन सभी विचारों के साथ पूर्णत्व कीजिए तब आप गणेश जी का अनुभव करेंगे लेट यू ऑल अचीव एक्सपीरियंस लिव एक्सप्रेस रेडिएट शेयर एंड एक्सप्लोर इन एटर्नल ब्लिस नित्यानंद ध्यान पीठम नित्यानंद नगर ऑफ मैसूर रोड बिडदी बेंगलुरु फोन जीरो एट जीरो टू सेवन टू सेवन डबल नाइन डबल नाइन डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट नित्यानंद डॉट ओ आर जी डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट यूट्यूब डॉट कॉम स्लैश लाइफ ब्लिस फाउंडेशन